morning, guys. I'm eating oatmeal and an apple in there. It's like cinnamon and apple oatmeal, and then I put some actual apples in there before they go bad. I wish I could say, mmm, it tastes so good. What I really want to say is, <laughs> tastes like healthy. <laughs> it doesn't taste that great. So, trying to eat healthy though. I'm trying. <clears throat> and if I sound like a man this morning, I know. It was really bad when I first got up. But I've been drinking some water and my coffee kind of moisturizing my throat, so to speak. So, it's really bad. <clears throat> it's like a man. Joe wakes me up and he's like, good morning. And I'm like, good morning. Where's my cigarettes and coffee? I'm going to take that dog. This dog is, ugh. He keeps slinging it everywhere. He throw it on the fan, fan flung it everywhere. Took it for a car ride, took it to the park yesterday. It's his new favorite. <clears throat> yeah, so. I feel um, a little bit better, but not too grand. So, I'm going to try to drink plenty of water and Powerade and eat really good, nutritious stuff. So, yeah. And then a little bit later, when I have my little bit of burst of energy, I'm going to try to work out. We'll see how well that works out. So, stay tuned for that. Will she work out or will she not? Who knows? <laughs> I have a visitor. Yo, yo, baby, how long you been locked up, huh? When you coming home? Uh, when you coming home? <laughs> Cat's in jail. <laughs> so I'm gonna get out soon, precious. I'm gonna get out soon. Come on, let's put our hands to the, to the window like they do. Let's see if we do it again. No, he's like, no. Moment's over, woman. It's over. So, oh. So, hey, oh, are you gonna put your. Oh, how cute! Yeah. <laughs> it's like, come on, let me in, baby. Hey, no, don't push on the door. You hurt the cat if he gets his foot caught in there. Hey. So, come on, baby. Let me yeah, in. Baby. See, I promise I'll never get locked up hey. again if you just get me out just one time. My day. So just one time, I swear I'll never do it again. So come on, girl. <laughs> so look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. <laughs> so come on, feel the love. So hurry up. Oh, they took me away. Officer's calling me. I don't know where he's going. You better be careful. Poor cat. The cat wants in. That cat don't want your dog. Die. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Good thing <laughs> I don't show you guys that side of me very often. There's <laughs> some really weird stuff. Yeah. So, huh, goo. He was like that yesterday at the park, checking out these little girls. He was saying something, and all he sees is him just over there going, Hey, goo. Yeah, I say girl like that. It's just funny. Goo. I still hear my cat whining. He's over there somewhere. Yeah, my door is dirty too. Don't mind that. Hey girls, have I got a DIY for you? Mm hmm Yeah. So I've been spending, like, seriously, a couple hours messing with this. Yeah. Okay. So this is something that I don't normally talk about. But, it's, I guess it's normal. I mean, you go through it or you don't go through it. And yes, I know my hair is really crazy. Anyways, I don't care. Crazy hair, I don't care. Okay, so, I've been feeling very unwomanly since, like... Aunt Flo has like just, I don't know, just went off. Like she then hopped on a jet and just flew somewhere across the world and she just ain't coming back. So that still has not like come around and I'm like over 30 days past due. So I was actually supposed to start my new cycle today. Still, no show. 
So anyway, so I've been feeling like really unwomanly since like Aunt Flo's done skipped town and then since I've really started to notice my weight and not that I'm fat or not that I'm saying that I'm fat or anything like that, but I'm just not fitting into clothes that I really, really enjoy. I'm not, like when I sit down, I feel like my shorts just kind of roll over. You know, I'm just, I'm not comfortable being undressed in front of my husband, you know, and all of that stuff is like, I mean, that, that's the problem, you know? So, I have also started to notice like a little bit of mustachio going on, like a little bit darker hair right in here. And I notice it more when I wear my makeup. Like, I felt like my makeup was sticking to it, and so I kept trying to, like, smooth it down when I would wear my makeup. And, of course, not add any extra product here so it wouldn't have anything to hold on to. I don't know, I told I'm smoking. No, anyways. Um, so I've kind of just been dealing with it, and I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to shave. I mean, no. I'm not even playing my shaving game. So I was like, well, what can I do to it, you know, to kind of rid myself of this problem and so I feel a little bit better. So I don't like to go to salons and I'm kind of embarrassed, you know, and sometimes, you know, you're embarrassed when there's things that you have wrong with your body and you don't really want to go and tell other people about. Um, so I was kind of like embarrassed to like go to a salon and be like, yo, can you, can you wax this? Like, you know, have the trench coat on with the head on be like, can you wax this? Anyway, so I was like, well, what can I do at home? So, what have I done? Let me show you guys right here. I know it's turning into a long thing, but in this jar, I have made myself my own wax. Yes. So, it's not really difficult at all. Um, it, I don't know. I mean, I didn't find it very difficult, and I, I did test it out. That's why it looks like this, because I was testing it out. Um... I did do my upper lip and I did do my belly button. Um, that is something, oh my gosh, I started like back in the day, I had like peach fuzz, like seriously, like just baby peach fuzz. And I didn't like the way that like it looked on my belly button, so I started shaving it. Don't ever do that, okay? Don't do that. Don't do the top of your feet, your toes. Yeah. Once you start shaving it, you gotta shave it for like ever. Anyway, so I put it on my upper lip and snatched it off and it worked and I did on my belly button I show you but my belly button's like kind of red right now so it's red yeah so <laughs> but it does work though um I think I just did it a little too many times on my belly button because I was trying to get every hair and I was like okay forget this so I just took like my tweezers and plucked like the one or two hairs that were straying so I wouldn't just keep you know brutally you know burning myself which I didn't burn myself I mean you know, you, you obviously take your little popsicle stick and, you know, wipe off the back of it. And blow on it a little bit. Test it out with your finger. If it's okay with your finger, then go ahead and apply, you know, wherever. And you let it dry a little bit and then just pull it off. So, anyways, I'm thinking about maybe seeing if my sister would like me to make up her a little at-home waxing kit. And if she does, then I was thinking about doing like a quick little DIY video on it. But... Yeah, so, I mean, you guys let me know if you guys want to see one, um, too. Sorry, sorry for church, but, um, if you guys want to see a video on that, too, because, like, like I said, everybody has something embarrassing wrong with them, or they think that's wrong with them, that they just don't want to, like, go and, you know, put out there in public, you know, and you don't want to start, like, shaving your face. I mean, that would be, like, not awful, but I, I, I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to be standing next to my husband and be like, how's your day, honey? You know, and plus I don't, I, ne I haven't brought it up to Dale. I didn't want Dale to be like, you know, and I, I don't think he would say anything to me, but I don't want him to be like, she's growing a mustache and Aunt Flo is missing and she's gaining all this weight. She's totally turning into a deer. So yeah, I didn't want to say anything to him, but now that I know that it works, I don't have to have that problem anymore. Look who's up from their nap. He's having a little snack back there. We're on our way to go grab the boys from school. Yeah, I know. I've not felt too good. But I did something a little bit productive today. The house is pretty straightened up, so I don't want to hear a word from anybody about anything. So, anyways, I'm off to go get these booger heads. They got me a, a snack. Yeah, I know, we're real healthy. But the girls gotta eat. Gotta eat. I'm so glad I got here early. I have 
about, I'm going to say about 15 cars in front of me, if not 20, because I can't see over this little hill. But you guys should see how many cars are behind me. I'm going to try to show you. Okay, look at all those cars behind me. And it goes around. You can see, like, what it looks like to be the last one. But no, it keeps going. It keeps going over the hill. Because where the school is, there's, like, a bunch of hills. So I wouldn't be surprised if there is, like, 15 or 20 behind that one little white one there on the end. A lot of cars. Thank goodness I came. <laughs> So I'm out here jamming out to Ace of Base, yeah. Those oh, songs. <laughs> you guys remember from back in the A like back in the day it was probably like eighties, nineties. I know it was the nineties for sure. Positive. Anyways, but it was all that she wants is another baby. <laughs> I should totally start singing that to Dale. Get my groove on and start like shaking it. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. But yeah. Anyways, I think it's funny in the song where it's talking about that gentle voice won't talk gentle for long. That's how I feel. I'm not gonna be patient for long. Ugh, anyways, but I'm making dinner and uh, the children are having some chicken patties. <clears throat> having some chicken patties as a prize. Adele and I are gonna have some white rice. I have a pan there to saute our vegetables. Over here I have, I know it looks like a lot of seasoning on this, but my shaker <laughs> wouldn't come out. Dell's having a piece of tilapia with um, some lemon pepper on it. I am having a steak, and there was two in the pack because this was supposed to be mine and Dell's meal one night, but that's okay, I can always eat this one for lunch, or he can. Anyways, I put some of my um, Mrs. Dash seasoning, the uh, garlic and herb one, I put this one on there. And um, I'm going to saute up some, um, some vegetables here. We have some carrots, some green beans, some wax beans, and then I'm going to also throw in some bell peppers and some um, onion, like I said, with white rice. So but we're not going to do too much of that, but that's what me and Della are going to have for dinner. So he's taking down the tent um, back there because like we've had it up and our plan was to go camp out in the yard like we did, um, what was it last year? But the year before, but then he broke his ankle, and we never just because he don't even sleep good in the um, in the bed or on the couch, so we just never oh. never got around to it. So we're kind of like you know, let's just um, let's just go ahead and put it away. But that's what we're having but for dinner at like? the tent. So the kids are looking at these uh, book thingamajiggies that they get from school. And he was so, and he asking was for a bunch of books. Like, they always do that and then they give you like so many days to get them and it's like if you don't have the money then you're just SOL. Because like on this one the due date is 9-28. Today is like the 17th. So you got like 10 days. Anyways, but yeah. I just wanted two books. I wanted one of the Ninjago's and uh, one of the books. They love books. Yes. If, any, if any of you guys are thinking or wondering what to send them, they love books. They love the Ninjago books, Lego, um, Lego books, Ninja Turtle books. They just, they just love books, period. Their uh, grandma used to send them um, books all the time. But she had to send Not fiction learning about animals, oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, here's my dinner. My teeny tiny steak. <laughs> my unseasoned rice. And my vegetables. I did cook those up in a little bit of butter and olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. With some of that, um, that uh, garlic and herb seasoning. Um, with a pinch of salt. And I kind of put the excess juice on top of um, my rice. So it's not so plain Jane, but... That's my dinner. They have uh, chicken and nuggets and fries. Dell's is over there. Let me show you. Let me show you Dell's plate because his looks pretty awesome. Riley didn't leave his tissue on the floor. Let me show you his plate. It looks really good. I don't even eat tilapia, but it looks really good though. To me, it looks pretty good. Might have to start trying to eat fish. We're we're rice dinner. Ah.
Just eat it. Yeah. It's not gonna be that bad. I hope. Why would you not? It'll be good. Oh, Waiting for Dale to get oh, to the table. Okay, baby. Put your hand down. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful food. I hope that energy is mine. Thank you. Amen. Amen. All right. Nice job. I took a bite while I was waiting for Dale. It is good with your vegetables mixed in with it. That's why I'm going to have mine. I don't know about the steak yet. See how Dale likes his. Don't say that. You need some more cheap puffs? <clears throat> well. Come on. Gee, Monica, this tastes amazing. You're the best cooking wife ever. Haha, -ha, just kidding. This is what he really said. A little salty. Well, I used the lemon pepper like you said. Hello. No, Mrs. Dash? No, the lemon pepper. I decided that I wasn't going to try the Mrs. Dash on your food because I never tried it. And I was like, yeah, let's be the one time he's like, this is horrible. That's just lemon pepper? Uh, no, it's the seasoned lemon pepper. See? I didn't know he had that. He balled it. Right, well, we're going to eat, so we'll see. Brody's already ate his dinner. He's got it in his mouth. Ew, get to. your nasty feet off the table. <laughs> Eat your cheese puffs. I want no toe jam. So yes. Would you like this with your fish? No, no. No. So, yeah. Listen, we can have more if we They're want. They're getting more. All right, we're eating. Well, folks, look who I have here this evening. Dale's actually joining me. It's been a while. Yeah, we were just being entertained by the boys playing in front of the air conditioner. Daniel was getting buff. <laughs> Riley, I mean Riley, Brody was stripping off his shirt, swinging around his head. I'm not sure about that. I don't know. I was using it, you know, for my modeling shoots for blowing my hair. Yeah. Anyways, kids acting crazy. We watched a couple episodes, Once Upon a Time. I'm confused. Yeah, it's kind of confusing, but I have two more that I need to get watched because I believe... I believe right, and I'm going to check here in a minute. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. Shush. I believe, I believe. on... Shush. On September... I believe. I can fly. Like a star up in the sky. I don't think that's how it goes. Anyways, um, on the 21st is the new season, season 5. I'm going to check that real quick, but... Anyways, I just took my vitamins and a Benadryl. I have an orange juice in the refrigerator. Let me tell you guys. Okay, let me tell you a secret little remedy, okay? It's not just any orange juice. It is this Donald Duck orange juice. I swear, if you drink that the next day, you're fine. It's like, like magic. I don't know. And no, I'm not just saying that because I love Disney. I'm telling you, I drank that and it just, like, it goes away. I don't know. It's like got a lot of vitamin C. Yeah, see? Right. See? He was there. Anyways, but, yeah. So I'm going to drink orange juice in the morning, though. That'll help instead of coffee. But, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight. I will see you guys tomorrow to kick off our weekend. And you guys are good to see my little man marching in the parade. So, that ought to be really fun. But, anyways, goodnight, guys. Say goodnight, Dale. Goodnight, Dale. And guys and gals. Good night, everyone, and children. Good night. It's your bedtime, children. Go to sleep for your parents. Go to sleep. Mom, look at that. Camel. Camel. Look what I did. Good night.